On behalf of uh, EFDD, Mr Carver, two minutes. Two weeks ago I hosted an event in Brussels with a delegation from the Southern Movement, an umbrella group bringing together the different political parties seeking an effective split, returning to the post yemeni unification borders before 1990. The main speaker was Mr Al Jifri, a former South Yemeni Vice President, who gave a detailed update of the tragic situation on the ground. He spoke passionately about the increasing humanitarian crisis, the fact that the international aid reaching in Yemen is being distributed through Hadida port in the north, whilst Aden port in the south literally misses the boat. He also spoke of the increasing casualties and underlined how Yemen's infrastructure has been completely obliterated. Mr. President, the pressing issues that must be addressed across the globe are the need for a correct diplomatic approach towards achieving a credible ceasefire so that the tragic humanitarian crisis that my colleagues across the House have um, spoken about can be addressed as a matter of priority. I was astounded to learn of another issue that needs addressing urgently, and that is how some of those taking part in the official dialogue might not actually be representing the very organisations that they claim to speak on behalf of. Certainly the Southern Movement delegates who attended my event left me with a distinct impression that they were currently unrepresented and incorrect actors are currently at the table incorrectly claiming to act for them. Now more than ever, the world has to regressively accept the increasing divide across the Middle East between Sunni and Shia Islam. Yemen today is a tragic example of this. Accordingly, should not the international community honestly consider whether a unified Yemen is a viable long-term solution? I genuinely believe that the possibility of eventually, and I say eventually, dividing Yemen to its pre-unification borders is an option worth proper consideration. Have we learnt nothing from the mistakes made a century ago by the Pico-Sykes Agreement? Thank you.